Hello everybody, I'm Hoshi and in the previous video of the war series in Transport Fever 2 we developed our northern network over in France and we scooped up all of the industries surrounding into this big north yard and then this train takes some of the goods down to the distribution yard to send them to the rest of the map. However, as we were doing that, we also were being attacked by the enemy as they were forming a big army in Belgrade to take over our town of Cluj where one of our cargo yards is, which we've now lost, unfortunately. But that's no issue, because today we're going to be taking it back over and claiming it to who rightfully should own it. So what we need to do immediately is to mount a defense, because this battle has now also begun Kluge towards Budapest, and we can't afford to be losing yet another city. So let's go ahead straight away and convert everything to war. So what industries are we got running? There's a currently a drop-off point here, which is distributing soldiers to this battleground already. Nice one, but we're going to need more than just soldiers. We're also going to need some weapons. So we're going to need a train that goes from steel to weapons, which I believe is already on there. Fantastic. That's already doing the rounds with a full train of weapons. This is actually working really well. And the reason for this is because I use the most automatic and awesome setup you can do in Transport Fever 2. But more of that later in the video. That steel is now going to get delivered to this weapons factory. But has it got anywhere to go? There's nothing waiting and we need to fix that. So we'll grab a new line and that's going to pick up these tanks that are being made and it's going to go and deliver them to the battleground. Let's drop them there. We could use a train for this, but I don't think it's that necessary because it's not that far to go. So this could be WEP to battle. And on that line, we're going to need some trucks to go on there. Let's go into our depot and let's pull some out. Do you carry weapons? So this carries weapons. That's great. I'm going to get six of these and these are going to go on the line we just made. There we go, out they come. These guys are going to grab the ammo and take it to the battleground. Fantastic. But I'm not sure that just Budapest soldiers and Budapest's factory are going to be enough. For that reason, we're going to need some bigger, beefier trains that are going to go from other factories, potentially all the way up, up here in France. Now, is any steel getting delivered to go to Paris Weapons Factory? Let's find out. We're getting a lot of steel delivered for Cologne's Weapons Factory. So let's just check if any weapons are actually getting made here. There's a, a few being made. It's not crazy, but there's a few being made. Okay. And then let's check over the Paris one. There's lots of steel sitting around, but not a lot of it is actually going towards Paris, which is quite interesting. I'm sure that should increase though over time. All of this stuff is eventually going to get delivered down here to the North Yard and then get picked up. I've also made a route that grabs the soldiers from Paris over just by the Eiffel Tower where they're all stacking up. And that's delivering them over to this yard over here. We've got our capital soldiers, but actually not using any of them. They're just kind of like a reserve army, I guess. We do have a route pretty much set up here. We just need to add a train to go into this platform here. Uh, so let's figure out how this is going to work. If we get a train to pull in here, pick up the soldiers, and then it's going to run down to the south. It's going to go all the way down here. It's a long, long way to go. And I'm thinking maybe we just drop them off in uh, Budapest, actually. And then just ship them out from there. Because we don't have a route running on here already. But it's very easy to do. We'll just have to stick a new line from there to there. And that will just become Sol 5. Because it's our fifth route. And we just need some passenger carrying sort of buses. And then all we need to do is just stick a train on there. And then we'll get our Berlin soldiers heading straight down there. I'm going to grab a few of the C40s. I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, 4 is fine actually. And then stick that onto the route. That now means we can do a train. So we'll get a new line that's going to go from our pickup just there all the way down here to Budapest because we can't go to the South Yard anymore because it's been captured, which would be ideal, but we'll fix that in a second. That is going to drop off there. It's obviously not ideal. Tiny, tiny platform there, but it's as good as we're going to get. That is now going to be a soldiers number six, and that's going to become a military color. We're going to need a train for this. Let's see what we've got in storage first of all. Really not a lot of stuff in storage. Two commuter style trains with very, very old rolling stock. We really can't be using this, I don't think. So it's going to be time for a new train. Let's buy a new one. It's going to have to be a fast one. I'm going to guess it's probably going to be the A35 we're going to end up doing. But let's have a look through and see what we actually have unlocked. Let's grab the elephant. I know it's really expensive, but let's just grab it, you know, because I think it, it probably will be worth it in the grand scheme of things. We need the soldiers here, so let's just invest. We've got plenty of profits rolling in anyway, so we should be fine. We'll grab some carriages as well. I'll tell you what, that is a pretty, pretty train. Very nice. So we've just flipped the train around. Very nice. And that's now going to go pull into Berlin. Is anyone waiting? Probably not. No, uh, no there's no one waiting. Of course. Brilliant. <laughs> just what we need. I'm not sure what our army is actually doing. Um, I'm sure they're very good, the commanders. All we need to do is just give them... Uh-oh. That's not good. We're now being attacked in two places. And one of them is a pretty major iron mine. 
That's not great. Um, okay. Well, one problem at a time. Let's deal with this first. We might be losing Strasbourg, which is not great. Uh, have we got any more iron coming in? Let's have a little look because we're in big trouble if we run out of iron. That's kind of the key thing for the war. Okay, so we've got, we have two mines. We've got this one. We've got this one. Okay, so we have two total. It's enough. As long as we don't lose both of these cities, then we're fine. If we lose them both, we're literally dead. Everyone is dead. And there's a coal shortage again. How is steel doing? No iron again, bro. Okay, where is the train? Where are you? North Yard train, what's going on? Why have you got one tank on board? One. And a bit of bit of iron. That is absolutely dreadful. That is so bad. And the other train? Bit of steel coming in. That's okay. Not much else. So I'm going to go around now to all of the cities and I'm going to connect each one of these soldiers' military bases up to the battleground in Kluge so we can get some more people down there. What I'm doing here is I'm connecting a lot of the ones near the capital just to the capital first because we've already just built that train that's going from capital down south anyway. It should carry those extra people regardless. As for Strasbourg, probably going to use the soldiers from here to defend the city. It makes more sense for like morale. So we'll borrow some of the ammo and weapons over from the north yard which should be going down south. But we also do need to defend this now to be fair so we'll do that. So yeah, this station definitely needs to upgrade. We'll probably do it in the next episode because... Right now, this train is blocking our soldier train from actually getting in because we need that platform. I'm not sure how he's going to react this train. He's probably just going to stop at this next signal. But uh, yeah, definitely not enough platforms. I mean, just the amount of lines on here is crazy. Like there's three, six, seven, eight, eight different trains trying to pull into three platforms is crazy. All of the major southern cities are now connected either to Berlin, the capital, and then going down to Budapest or directly connected to the battleground in Budapest. None of our northern ones really are. But that's fine because what we can do is we can bring a lot of the soldiers down into Paris and then can ship out from Paris. Or even better, we can ship from the North Yard. So that's interesting. We're actually getting some stuff loaded onto the steel to weapons train. Some weapons directly going to where we need to go. That's pretty good. Very nice stuff. This may be the slowest convoy ever thanks to these horses. Just overtake, guys! Overtake! It's not that hard! <laughs> well, at least we know why no ammo is getting delivered. Bugger off! Stuff is happening. We are getting a few things delivered here. We've got just about enough stuff um, to, uh, to actually fight. So we're getting a bit of a front line assembled. About 70 troops and about 10 weapons between them. Obviously not great, um, really, is it? But uh, it's something, so we just got to keep the levels up. Uh, we've got a couple of weapons getting delivered, I think, sooner or later. Yeah, this train's not too far away. It's got plenty of weapons on board, so that should be fine. As for deliveries from the North Yard, still plenty of iron coming in. We've got three soldiers on board, which is not great, but not terrible. Just something extra, I guess. We've also got 35 weapons on board, or the amount of tanks you can see here, which is going towards where we need it to go. It's all good stuff. Very nice indeed. So actually, we're not doing too bad. I guess the issue is more soldiers than it is weapons. It, it used to be weapons, but I think a lot of the weapons were just tied up on one big train that was still in transit. And now that those big trains are actually getting to where they need to go, it's not so much an issue anymore. I believe we just need to get the soldiers, the small quantities that all add up to one big quantity from all of the different towns to sort of get those numbers right. And oh my god, what is this traffic? <laughs> what is going on here? I think they were stuck in a permanent loop for some reason, so I just sold one of them. And uh, I pressed clone to get it back to where we were. I think it was just a glitch in the game. And what do you guys think? Shall I use modded trains in my next Let's Play? I'm not so sure. I think I probably won't use modded trains anymore. As good as they are, I just don't like the fact that no one kind of knows the stats off the top of their head. Because I think people do with vanilla compared. What I probably will do is I'll probably ditch trains. And I'll probably only have custom rolling stock. I think that's more interesting. Like we can have medical cars and artillery cars and that sort of thing. But without the trains, because I'd like people to understand more about what's actually going on with the trains instead of me just telling you. It makes more sense. So I think I'll do that. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Look at that. Even more tanks getting on board on this new train. Fantastic stuff. Our other train just dropping off the tanks over where they need to go. That's 46 weapons waiting for pickup. However, we are running out of weapons a little bit. I've added a few more trucks to drop in off here because there's not a whole lot of trucks. Like there's a few. There's 10 now. There was six before. Now that's weird to see. As time has been progressing, a few buildings have been started to be constructed and they look very different on the terrain. I mean, we've got these old houses and then we've got these big high rises that are starting to be constructed, which is really interesting to see. It doesn't almost doesn't fit in, you know, with the uh, the whole city's vibe. But that's what's interesting about like history because the fashion changes, but the history stays. So you've got all these old buildings and it's these brand new ones. It looks really interesting and only more to come. And this is why you need to have dedicated commuter, cross country and intercity services. 
It's because so much traffic builds up if you don't. And uh, this is something that we'll get into more later in this series, and it's something I've already covered on the channel, but it's definitely worth it, and it's just a clear reminder. Let's have a little check up on the battlegrounds over on our Kluge battlefront. We've not got many weapons, only two shared between 50 soldiers, but it's enough to just kind of hold the fort down for the time being before we get some more reinforcements. There should be some. There's eight weapons here, and then there's uh, eight weapons here. There's a few more coming here. Okay, yeah, that's not too bad. That's all right. Uh, and then what about over on our other battlefront? Let's have a look here. We've got 60 soldiers, 20 weapons. Decent, not the best, but it's decent. It's enough to sort of keep things going at least. Nice one. We've actually got stuff here now. 30 soldiers and more weapons and soldiers for a change. Very nice stuff. Um, actually, we've got a few more soldiers coming in as well. None there, none there. Well, you guys can turn around. You've not got anyone on board. That's not very useful, but... Okay, yeah, um... While we don't have many soldiers, we do have a lot of weapons. Uh, so hopefully this should be enough to kind of keep things going. There's not long left until I'm expecting them to attack. It says the expected attack is 28th of February 1920. It's the February the 12th at the minute. So potentially we could win. We're about... Yeah, the estimate is about even right now. We're about half and half on if we're going to win here. So, hmm. It could be it could be an interesting one. Over on our other battlefront, not quite the same story. Only got the one weapon, which is not ideal, clearly. Uh, anyone coming in with more weapons? Not really. There's a five more soldiers there, and that's it. Uh, yeah, that's not good. We got seven, and that's it. Uh, and that's took a big strain on our empire. Like, we've got nowhere near the amount of stuff we need. Uh, just because we invested so much into taking this area over. And that's how we've kind of been snuck up on uh, in the south and lost Cluj, which is not good. These soldiers are so, so close. We have here 27 soldiers so close to that battleground. Just get over there, guys. Come on, you can do it. Loads of weapons, but once again held back by our lovely friend, Mr. Horse and Carriage. Get off the road, buddy. And our convoy that may save the day, edging closer and closer. Come on. These guys are going to meet in the middle here and it might actually save us, no way. We're so close to be on that winning front, 71% win chance right now. It's not the best, there's still a 30% chance we could lose. And it's going down, <laughs> but we got people coming in, right? So that should surely be good. Come on, we got 8 guys coming in, we just got to get everyone out of the way. Go, move, go, 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 move out of the way. Come on guys, we're so close, it's right there. We're just barely clinging on right now. Four people are doing the whole job right now, defending this battleground. Actually doing it as well, like, they're keeping the win percent the exact same. Three guys, one of them just died. I'm so sorry. But yeah, three guys doing the whole job right now. Only, uh, holding the ground. Actually gaining ground, that's crazy. Two guys now, he died, but they're gaining ground. Okay. More guys are coming in reinforcements. This is good. Here we go, we got some more deliveries now. More weapons is not what we need first of all, but it's what we're getting first of all. We need these soldiers on site. So, uh... Yeah, uh, potentially if I turn this around and then turn it around again, just to give the passengers a little chance to get there first, the soldiers to get there. Um, shouldn't be too big of an issue. Just let them get in front first of all. And then turn them back around there. Nice. Same there. And then again, same just there. And then now we get the soldiers dropping off. 24 people is just what we needed right about now. There is literally a prediction of six days before the end of all this. And we might lose the land unless we get enough people here in six days in game. Uh, we've got people coming in though. We've got 20 coming in now, so that's pretty good. We have just lost quite a bit by having no one here though, which is a shame. But we've got more of that to come, so that should be all right. You're now empty, so you can go, buddy. Off you shoot. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's like, that's the only thing that's going to keep us going, those 20. Let's just hope it does. We've got plenty of weapons on site, so these guys can just be on standby. Need those soldiers ASAP. Some very mild reinforcements as well. We've got five more soldiers inbound. A little bit more weaponry as well. Very mild, but it's also very good as well. No one on that one. No one on that one either. So we've not got any soldiers coming in. This is kind of all we've got to work with. Is it enough though? Is it enough? I don't know if it is, you know. I'm getting kind of worried. It's very close. We need to get above this line here, which is 75% to like actually have a chance here. But like, this is... Uh... Oh, this is getting low, these numbers. I'm not I'm not liking this. <laughs> Ten more soldiers on this train. Is that going to be good enough? Is there any more trains? Not really. Not really. Um, you've got 18, but you're miles away. Oh, what? There's actually 57 just chilling in Berlin. Where is this train? Brother, you're supposed to be picking up right now. What are you doing? Go, go, go. Come on. Who are you waiting for? Oh, the immense uh, traffic in Berlin is what's causing this once again. Can't say I'm surprised, really. 
Imagine those 57 actually being where we need them right now. Oh, are these 10 people going to do it? Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, we've only gone and done it. Cluj is now in our hands and we have defended from the enemy. We've pushed them back. They're now waiting over here instead on this borderline. So we'll have to deal with those in a little bit. But we now have our self yard, which has been captured. That is absolutely fantastic. We can now start up with the mass cargo once again. Right, now that's done. I think we'll just leave these on a slight loss for the time being. However, still got a battle going on over here. You need lots of resources, so let's get that going as soon as possible. So I reckon, because we've set it up in such a certain way, I think everything is automatically going to be taken to this battleground. I think we've done this, but let's double check. So we've got all of the soldiers from the French region coming by train, because remember they're stopping at the stations to drop off passengers, and then they're picking up soldiers. Not many, but they all add up. Then they're all going to Paris, and then they get taken from Paris over to this yard over here. And then from the yard, they then get picked up and taken to the battleground. So that's France covered. As for ammo, it's the same sort of thing. Ammo's getting dropped off here and getting picked up going the same way, I think. Yep, that's right. So what we need to do is we need to bring our soldiers from down south, in that case, up north to the battleground. I'm not sure how much of this is already done, but let's have a little look. I think a lot of soldiers are still coming to Berlin. Let's see, have we got a train that goes from Berlin outbound? Is it Soul 6? It looks like Soul 6 is the train that was going to Budapest before. So let's change that and let's put it to go somewhere else instead. I believe that we've still got a train going from the distribution hub to the North Yard with passenger cars on board. So with that being the case, let's put a little slip track in here. If we just literally slide this in like that, um, two slip switches on, then that will mean that the trains can actually use both tracks um, to pull it in and out of. So we'll grab that line, manage line, and then we'll take off Budapest and replace it with the distribution yard just here. And then this should mean, even if we put a alternate platform here as platform number five, this should work pretty easily. It'll just pull it in and out like that. That looks good to me, and we'll just put a little bit of signaling on here as well. Not particularly needed, but we'll grab it just in case as well. Uh, and that can go there just like that. Our big transporting train to the North Yards bringing lots and lots of steel. That's perfect. All that's going to be turned into weapons. Brilliant stuff. And plenty of weapons also getting loaded towards this battleground. Pretty good. And now all that's left to do is sit back, look at some trains, and wait. Almost a full truck here of soldiers were absolutely dominating. The whole map pretty much is going towards this battleground. And any minute now, it's ours. Boom, just like that, it's absolutely defended, smashed out of the park. Our borders are now successfully defended, and we're back to where we were, but with France as well. So we've gone up, lovely stuff. So one thing I noticed that we actually unlocked in our research panel is aircraft. We can now build airports, and you know what that means? It's time to drop some bombs on the enemy. So I'll see you guys in the next episode, where we'll be dropping tons of bombs on those cities. And you can watch that video on screen right here.